How goes it? I'm Wills Maxwell, and this is What Did We Miss? Here I tell you the stories that WWAY did not. Uh, folks, last week I used my airtime that the station generously gives me to yell at and berate my colleagues. Um, I do enjoy being here at WWAY, so I'd like to take this moment to sincerely say to my coworkers, don't make me do that again. Our first story is about an amazing young talent from South Africa. Six-year-old DJ Arch Jr. holds the Guinness record for being the world's youngest club DJ. So to all the 12-year-olds that wanted that title, uh, you're already too late. It's time to become the accountant your parents always wanted you to be. If somehow six is not an impressive age for you, Arch Jr. got his start three years ago. Look at how hyped those kids are. Not to be the when I was your age guy, but when I was your age, all we had was wheels on the bus, and we liked it. The South Africa's Got Talent champion will compete in World's Got Talent in China. Should he win, he will represent Earth in Milky Way's Got Talent. Scientists at the University of Bath are able to grow meat from animal stem cells. This could be a viable solution to food shortages and wouldn't cause as much pollution as industrial farming. Also, it'd be guilt-free. I'd love to be able to bite into a burger without wondering who my burger used to be friends with, or maybe was it even related to a different burger I ate. The main problem is growing meat in a lab takes a lot of time and money. Also, it's a little unsettling. I mean, I promise you'll never see commercials where they'll try to make emptying a petri dish look appetizing. At Burger Jacks, we know what you want. Slowly grown animal tissue raised on a blade of grass in a sterile lab. If you think this is real meat, then you don't know Burger Jacks. The Louvre is offering a chance to treat the famous museum like an Airbnb. And if it's like an actual Airbnb, an attendant will be on hand to give you access to the Louvre's Netflix account and then resent you if you actually use it. The prize goes to whoever best answers the question, why would you be the Mona Lisa's perfect guest? That's easy, I'd leave her alone. She's been surrounded by people every day since 1804. I'd be able to give her what she's always wanted, space. The winner will sleep in a tent beneath the pyramid, potentially making them the first people to lie down in a pyramid and then wake up. This gives someone the chance to find out if the Venus de Milo comes alive at night. Spoiler alert, she does, but all she talks about is herself. In a way, it's kind of disarming. I'm Wills Maxwell, and that's what we missed.